Watch it! Get your knee out of my face! My shoes has guards, you stink! Ow! What was that? Quit your belly aching, we're on! Hey, what's going on, Strat fans? This is Colonel Strat, Strategy Extraordinaire here, and today, oh, I've got a treat for you. I got a surprise. This is a surprise video, surprise Sunday. So, um, today, I'm going to be journeying back. We're going back to the fossil record to 2002 to enjoy a game from my childhood that I want to share with you guys, and I don't feel like it gets a lot of recognition on YouTube. So, I felt like it was time for me to explore it and dive my, sh my shoes in back to my to the glory days of my youth um, and with that I present Army Men RTS now um, I was a big fan of the uh, of the little plastic toys when I was younger younger when I saw this game come out uh, it was I thought it was hot shit and you know I still I still come back to it once in a while even today um, because it's it's just that solid of a, of a strategy game so today we're going to be following in the shoes of Sergeant Hawk my glorious glorious chad sergeant hawk uh the original giga chad and um his, his and his merry band of green soldiers as they as they fight the tan menace um so and if you like this video consider subscribing liking leaving me a comment and saying that you like it so that i can make this a series all right guys so um with that let's get um, let's get on to the campaign. So, um, one one cheeky piece of uh, of trivia for y'all is that if if y'all notice as we go through the campaign, um, each mission is titled and styled a lot like classic um, American war flicks, like the Thin Green Line, reference to the Thin Red Line. You know, there's there's one mission called Full Green Jacket, reference to Full Metal Jacket. And you know some of the some of the mission types and styles are references to those war movies. Um, there's even like a like a one man army type type uh, Rambo mission. So it's very interesting, and the combat is very fluid. And you know it's got that classic 2000s game of like counterbalances, where you've got like you know uh, troops that can do uh, anti infantry, anti armor, anti air. So it's like you know. The, the, the trifecta effect that those 2000 games had but it's simple but it's also rewarding because there's you know specialty units and the base building is really good and as well the map selection is pretty good as well and they're very intuitive with um you know making everything scaled down and you feel like you're like one of these little army guys in a big world you know and it's pretty much just the, the gist of it is they're, they're on a grand scale is that it's just toys <laughs> fighting in a in a yard through a house and you know it's a pretty basic story but it's one for the ages and i always come back and revisit it so with that strat fans let's get going on the thin green line mission one here we go strat fans the thin green line Oh, the, the music always gives me chills. Oh. It seems that one Talk of to me, our Daddy. own has seen fit to go over to the other side. That man was a colonel in our army, and I'm not going to lie to you. He's good. Everything past this fence behind me is his, so if we're going to stop him, well, it all starts right here. We gotta break their line of defense and push through that yard before they know what hit them. Am I making my? Always love this speech. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Should I go into more detail? Sir, no, sir. How about a satellite photo or one of those fancy holographic projections? Sir, no. That's, That's okay, okay, sir. Good, cause we don't have any. All right, boys, let's get to work. Yes, yes, Daddy, we will. Let's get to work, boys. Reporting. All right. Now we select. Let's start moving them. Sir, yes, sir. Moving 
Yeah, classic voices too. I always would reference them in high school. <laughs> right away. It was like the Battlefront 2 ones. Alright. Chad grunts. I don't like how they always explode. Yes! As well. Yes! Like, explode! <laughs> they just explode. Alright, we have to make some more units too. Um, I'm going to make some grenadiers as well as some grunts. There's like a, a tick system, and then you can have a flag to where they rally to. Alright, so. Ah, jeez. I still have to get. I, ha I, I haven't. This is my first time playing it on Steam, Strat fans. <laughs> All right, got more tan up here. Open fire. Yeah, the, the grunts are are not as um, powerful by themselves, but in a group, they can be like deadly. All right, so um, once we clear this, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over the objectives because we're gonna do all the bonus objectives too. Oh, we lost one of our guys. Good thing about this as well is in later missions when the sandbox opens up. Um, you can actually go and like harvest your dead soldiers <laughs> to refund them as plastic. So it's kind of kind of fucked up, but <laughs> at the same time, it, it's really awesome. All right, so let's go over the metal goals. So we have to finish under seven minutes and eliminate all the tan. Not so we just have to power rush through. Now we got Sarge with us. Oh, good old Hawk. Be right there. And we just have to circle around and make sure we get all the tan. And there are some bonuses hidden around the levels too that can give you like boosts. Alright, All right, let's get this tan guy. You like how every time they get shot, like bits and pieces of them fall off because it's like plastic falling off. Alright. Then there's a weapon boost here, let's get it. Weapon boost. There yes, we go. Enemy another tan. Let's get him. Let's get him, boys. Advancing. Advancing. Oh, one right. one cheeky w wait you piece of advice: when you go up against towers, hit the drums. These explosive right. barrels, they'll do a lot of damage and they'll take out a lot of enemies. All right, let's get them. I see him. Attacking. Get them. Pop them open. I see him. Yeah, let's get these guys, these suckers. I see him. Sarge, in his pistol, he just doesn't give a crap. Affirmative. He just... Phew. Get out of here, son. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Enemy sighted. Now, before we go across that line, we do have to make sure we get all the tan from the other side. That's yes, what our second force yes, is going to be for. Yes, sir. All right, let's get our second yes, force here. Yes, sir. Advancing. Got it. All right, second force, go around the side. Be right there. Now the grenadiers are, are again <laughs> another giga check because it's just a guy, just a dude with like four grenades <laughs> he just chucks them all the time awesome Attacking. just just some dude chucking grenades he doesn't care he's getting shot he's like uh just flesh wound I'm still gonna go chuck grenades at you also there's like little references cheeky reference like this one <laughs> Oh, look at all the grenades. <laughs> that, that dude is done. Alright, so again, grenades are really good at de dealing with the drums. We're gonna do a lot of explosive damage. Oh, but we are losing. Alright. We may have to get Hawk around the side. Alright, Hawk. Let's go over here. Help these guys out. Yeah, be careful because sometimes the AI will path into there and end the mission too early. Enemy right there. So let's get them. 
And if you notice, we have our construction down here. That'll come in, come into play later. This is this first mission is kind of just like a blitz. All right, we've done a good strat, outnumbered them, and there, that's the cue that we got our first medal. Now we just need to bum rush to the to the exit. <laughs> Ladies, we're just getting, getting started. started. All right. There's a gold medal. That's what I'm talking about. Now I'll show you how much time it took. It took us five minutes to complete that mission. How many kills, losses, and then the objectives, plastic, electricity. Electricity comes into play later, because then we do behind the tan curtain.